Hey guys, it's Gina. So we already talked about just starting off creating a budget. We talked about just writing down expenses and income and being honest in those numbers and keeping track of all that you do throughout the month. So now I'm gonna give you another tip on what really helped me with staying within my budget. So certain things like the things that autom automatically come out of your account, uh, maybe a mortgage or rent, um, utilities, phones, cell phones, um, things like that, you know, regular monthly bills, subscriptions, stuff like that. Those are easier to stay within budget because they're only a certain amount you pay and you're done. These are bills. <laughs> Things that are harder to stay within budget with are things like eating out, budgets that we set for that, budgets that we set for groceries. Um, I set a budget for self-care, um, things like that. So let me show, tell you what I did to help me stay within budget with those things. I stopped using my card to get everything. I was looking to see if I had a gift card on my desk. I did used to have a um, Amazon one. I must have threw it away because I used it um, on my desk. But I was just going to do like swipe or no swipey. No swipey. I literally am the queen of no swipey. I do not swipe my, my cards for stuff because that's where I was getting into trouble. Now, that was then. I will say now I do use cards for things every now and again. I have a couple rewards cards. But I never, I have n never in the last, let me see, that was 2011, so we're about, ooh, I'm about 12 years in, used my car to swipe for something that I didn't have the money to pay for it already in my account. So say, for instance, I want to get rewards ports on my groceries. I have the cash to buy my groceries, but I might use my card to do it. Now, I don't usually do it for groceries um too much but like if i'm taking a trip like we're going on vacation and i wanted the rewards points for that so i use my i didn't swipe but i use my card online to book things so that i can get the um points for it instead of my daughter and her because it's a full family so my daughter that doesn't live with me and everybody a lot of people are coming so um i wanted to get the points so she sent me the cash and I put it on my card I do that with my work trips I will pay for things the hotel the flight with my my card the work my job will reimburse me for it because I want to get the points so <laughs> those type of things are the things that I do but when my bill comes my bill gets paid in full I do not make payments on my credit cards period that's how they get you you do not want to be doing that so when I first started, I wasn't using cards at all. I would go to the the bank. I would take my money out for the my um, groceries, for gas, for um, eating out, for self care, all those things that I budgeted like that in my budget. I would literally take out physical cash for that, and I have envelopes that I keep them in. I have a wallet in my card. I mean, card in my purse that. Um, has the envelopes and they are similar to these are a little different um, because these are for other things but it, my wallet is different too but they are similar to these so like this is an envelope for something then I have home maintenance car maintenance my ones in my purse look more like these these are my older envelopes that I made but like school office this is what I call my daughter and things like that so I have my grocery, um, eating out, gas, self-care, and my um, uh, crafting. I don't think that's what I called it, though. I was trying to think of what I called it. But anyway, my because my, I like craft stuff, clearly. <laughs> um, envelope in my wallet, in my purse. So I take the cash out, and it goes into there, and I keep a tally of what goes in and what's going coming out so when i put a deposit in and write it down on one of these this is not the one for my purse that's in my purse this is the one in here 
and then um, I write down what I put in, what the current balance is in there, and then when I go and spend some, I write that down and what the balance is at that point. Um, so I do that with those things, and that way it keeps me on track because if I have $400 in cash for my groceries and um, Oreo decides that they're dropping a new Oreo or Lay's decides they're dropping a new potato chip and it catches my eye or there's some new ice cream or whatever the thing is. Cause you know, it's always the junk that catches our eyes. It ain't like we see um, steaks over here and we're like, oh my God, you know, no, it's usually the, the crappy food that catches our eye. And then we have all this stuff in our cart that wasn't supposed to be in there. So now if I have $400 and I have a, a grocery list and I have a, um, know what I need to get, if it don't fit in that budget, it don't fit. There's no, oh, well, I know it's in the account, so I'll just swipe my card. No, because I don't, that ain't happening. You got to stick to this amount. So that's what helped me stick to my budget. I took cash out. When that cash was gone, it was gone. And no, one thing about when you have paper cash in hand, you don't like to see it gone. So you tend to stick to your budget better or you st you tend to think through what you're, the need of what you're looking at more so than the want. So sometimes you might see something, you're like, mm, yeah, but I don't really need it. And you move on. Or sometimes you see it and you're like, no, that's a good deal. I got to get it. Like, so I'm going to have to figure this out. But it still got to come out, come out of that budget. So that's how I stay within those uh, created budget amounts throughout the month. And I, like I said, I still tally things. So if I got to zero in one of those envelopes way sooner than I anticipated, I had the transactions that told me what got me there. So then I can look at it the next month and see if there's somewhere I could do better so that I stay within that budget. Not up the budget so I can get more things. No, my goal was to stay at that budget and within that budget. So if I got to that zero too quickly, I needed to see why and fix it, basically. So, and I'm a, I, I tend to um, prep so I tend to do that kind of stuff too, but now I have an envelope for that. So I have a Costco envelope, a Costco slash Sam's. So I put money in there because I usually only go to Costco like once every couple months or so. But when I go, I tend to spend quite a bit because I want to stock up on the things I get from there. The upside is at Costco, all the things I go there for are food, food. It ain't, it ain't junk. So I like to stock up on ground beef, chicken, um, shrimp, stuff like that when I go there. And like I said, I tend to spend quite a bit when I do. I mean, it's not like thousands of dollars, but it's a few hundred um, whenever I do. And then when I go to Sam's, um, I don't typically do a lot of stock up there. So usually I'm going there for particular things and I can just get them and be done. But um I do have an envelope for that now because that was something I didn't think about at first. And then when it came time to go to Costco, I was like, this is going to screw up my budget. So I learned to have an envelope for that as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So going into the next month, as you're doing your budget and planning, think about if that will make, if that would help you out if having that um, envelope with the cash instead of being able to swipe your card to get whatever you want would help you better stay within budget. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, financial planner. I'm not a professional at this. I just wanted to share what I did and what helped me to get myself um, in a better position financially. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that. I'm telling you guys, it works. Once I got there, there's no going back for me. Once I got my mindset right about money and how I handled it, I have done so much better. 20 years ago, I used to be that person who couldn't understand why my paychecks are this and my bills are only this. I don't have all this money left over. I don't see it. I'm not seeing this extra money. And 
the honesty in that is that I was swiping. I worked at, at the time where I worked at, they went out to lunch every day almost. Every day somebody called me, you want to go out to lunch? We're going to such and such. Yeah, girl, I'm coming. So I was going out to lunch all the time for work. And I was not accounting for that. That wasn't part of the, my, my budget was showing groceries. It wasn't showing eating out with your coworkers. And then on top of that, I was younger. So I had friends always calling, girl, we going to, we going, you know, to do this this weekend or that this weekend. You want to come? Yeah. What, what time? So things just piled up. So basically I was blowing that money, doing all this stuff that didn't need to be done didn't I didn't need to go I need what I need to do is pack my lunch maybe go out to eat one day with co-workers and pack my lunch all the other days but that ain't what was happening you know maybe go out and hang out with my girls once a month instead of every weekend you know things like that so tighten up in those ways and then they make you know hopefully things a little bit easier for you and you'll be able to see that extra money and then you can put it where you want it to go vacation fund um savings whatever house fund you want to save to put down a down payment on your house you want to buy a car car fund whatever that thing may be sorry guys that is part two of the budgeting and how it could possibly help you and like i said if these videos are helping you please share to your your community don't forget to thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, just ask them below and I will answer them. So I hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.